Hey people. So, I'm starting a new segment, um, and I decide. I mean, this is something that's been on, been in, been on my mind for a while about doing, and I just decided, you know, hell, why not do it? Especially since this this is what I'm doing is actually a video response to a question somebody sent me. Um, but so what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to be doing these new segments called, you know, Dear Master Hook. Um, you know, it's kind of a, you know, an Ann Landers, Dear Abby kind of, you know, thing where you ask me questions, I give you answers, um, regardless if you like the answers or not. Um, I, I'm just going to be very honest with people. Because um, brutal honesty in, in BDSM and leather is absolutely vital to just really existing in this life. So, the first question, the first one is, um, and the question, the full question is below. Um, I'm not going to put the person's name, I'm never going to put the person's name. If they wish to out themselves in comments, that's fine, but I'm not going to do that. So, the question was, in a nutshell, how to take a vanilla relationship that has rough sex elements and rough play, you know, elements, and kind of move it towards a BDSM context. Here, especially when you're dealing with two people who are really vanilla, um, especially a girlfriend who's really vanilla and trying to say, hey, by the way, let's do all these kinky things. It's hard. <laughs> it's, it's really hard. Unless the person you're with is open to these ideas. Um, and what you have to do is you have to go in gently, slowly. You can't just say, you know, hey, look at these whips and chains that I bought. It gets kind of scary. You want to introduce things slowly, softly, okay? Um, introduce an element of bondage into your play. Um, maybe with, um, use things that are handy. Don't go out and spend a ton of money buying a bunch of equipment that you may never actually get to use. Use what's handy. Um, if you're a guy, you probably have some ties. Um, there's probably um, sc silk scarves and things like that around that you can use um, as blindfolds or as ways to tie up, um, tie up their, you know, tie up your girl's hands or feet. Um, and use it to slowly introduce it to new elements, into new ideas, new ways of playing, where the rough sex and stuff is absolutely a part of it, but the other kinkier elements, the, the tying up, um, spanking, um, is, is also another good, you know, first step, if you want to call it that, for, for getting into, um, getting into BDSM and leather. Um, start off slow. Don't rush into anything, because if you rush into it, you're going to scare the hell out of the person you're with. And you might wind up going in a wrong direction. Also, role play. Role play is an essential element of BDSM and leather. Because without role play, a lot of the things that we do just don't work. You, you, you need to be able to say, you know, to do the, you know, I'm the teacher, you're the bad little girl, I'm going to give you a spanking kind of a, a scene as a way to open up the con the dialogue of saying, how was that for you? Did you enjoy the particular, the, the spanking element of it? Um, not just the role play element, but did you enjoy the spanking element? Talking to your partner is absolutely vital. You need to be able to talk to your partner and say, did you enjoy that? Did you not enjoy it? What parts did you like? What parts didn't you like? The more information you have, the more you can fine-tune what it is you're doing, and then start adding in new elements as time progresses. And then eventually, if you're finding you're really liking the kinky stuff, and you're really liking the more dominant submissive aspects of the bedroom play, then move into going and finding groups in your local area, uh, munches, um, play clubs, things like that. Start talking to people. You'll find that people in this community are very, very open. Um, they are very, very welcoming, and they want to teach you. 
they want to show you what we do and honestly like I said your first big hurdle is just getting her comfortable with the idea of kink not just rough sex but kink spanking bondage things like that these elements if she can be okay with those elements you can very easily move into the other elements so that's it for now uh, tell me what you think. Do you think this is a good idea to do these kind of videos? I um, think it's a bad idea to do these videos. Um, think that my what I said was any worth anything? Um, tell me in the comment section, and uh, take it from there. Uh, be well and safe.